we gonna get straight to the point on this one, man. Y'all see who I got on the couch? That part. My boy, Fonz, the Shine Guard, Figures. Or is it just the Shine Guard? You drop the figures. I mean, nah, you can never drop the figures when you're about your money. Right. You can't drop the figures when you're about the paper. You cannot drop the figures when you are about the paper. Let me get this straight. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> yeah, my name Fonz Figures, man. Also known as Deshaun God, also known as PJ Figures, also known as Extraordinary Figures, the Extraordinary Nigga. Mm -hmm. Also known as Papa Guns to the Don Moves. Also known as Mecca the Dawn as to my childhood friend. Real name Jamel. Talk about it. And where you from? I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from New York. We. I'm from Bed Stuy. I'm from the Bush. I'm from Bronx. I'm from Queens. I'm from Staten Island. I'm from. Sh I'm from Shaolin. Shaolin, rather. You understand what I'm saying? I. Right? I'm from uptown. We from everywhere, man. Queens, everywhere. NYC. That's where I'm from. Tri-state area, East Coast. That's where the fuck I'm from. I'm from Gangsta Killer. I'm from G Shine. That's where I'm from. G Shine. Uh, Banger Fam. That's where I'm from. You know Talk about it. Sean Hart, I'm fine God, you know what the fuck going on. So, you a decep or something? <laughs> like, like, let me know. You was low life decep. What was you before you was before you was Sean? What was you? G O D. But I, I God body. I was I I I would say I was brought up with the teachings of the gods and the earth. So I leaned more t t towards accepting. And being witness to the fact that the black man is God first before anything. Okay, and then you, know you, you so and then most of the big homies, all of the big homies in the beginning were God. Right. Before they was Damu, and they put this thing together with Mac and you know everybody else that began Rudy Red and all the other homies and shit. Um. And uh, that's where Shine God come from. Right, but did did it start? Did that start in the penitentiary in jail? Mm -hmm. No, not you. I'm just saying, from the five percent nation, did they did they turn blood in jail? Did it transition yeah, over? Yeah, everything transitioned in jail with the nation, mm -hmm. uh, on the East Coast. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was more. It was more political, with racial matters, of Hispanics oppressing blacks, and you know something had to be done like you know you'll have your uncle or your brother get locked up for a, 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 a ticket or some whack shit and have to go on the island just for a bail or some shit out mm -hmm. some money shit from the system and he make it to Rikers Island and he can't even sit in the house because he black and it's a Spanish crib and they clapping shit right so you know what I mean it gets kind of corny when your your kind is the only motherfuckers that's getting oppressed out this motherfucker so it was about oppression it was fighting oppression mm-hmm Okay. So when Mac presented it to the brothers, most of them was G.O.D. Wait, they Mac. Converted. Who's Mac? O.G. Mac. Omar Porti. All right? That's the brother who started this thing over here. You know what I mean? He's the one that brought the life to the nation. Okay. To New York City. You know what I mean? Along with brothers like Supreme and, you know, Deadeye and, you know, Big Ed's and, you know what I mean, Rudy Red and... You know what I mean? Uh, shit. <laughs> the list goes on yeah, and on. The, the CK, yeah. The list, the list, it, it goes on and on and okay. on and on. You know what I'm saying? But um, to you know, sum it up a little bit, we were sent here to 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 protect the folks of our skin color, and then like any other entity or organization, when it gets out of hand and too big to control, when it wasn't meant for what it is now. It becomes out overwhelming. Right. So, like, if it, if the the blood culture was here to protect the oppressed, what happened? Like, what 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 made it get so wild to the point where it, it, they like? It was supposed to just be for prison. That's what happened. It was a jail thing because it started in jail. It didn't start in the street. Is that New York or is that Cali or that overall? All right. You know what I'm saying. 
But New York always been on gang time anyway, from D Seps, Jolly Stompers, Tomahawks. We right. always had gangs in New and York. D- yes, sir. You know, yes, they sir. just magnify it now because of the culture of red and blue and other gangs happen to die out and this shit being something that never dies, it just multiplies every day from the late sixties to twenty twenty three. It's just getting bigger and bigger every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You just gotta accept the fact that this is one culture that's just not going anywhere and then mm-hmm. the music and everything keeps it alive and you know, it's just certain things that come with gotcha. it. So, yeah, it's trendy to other people until they have to deal with the dark side of it. And the dark side of it is? The dark side of it. 6 9 Yeah. The dark side of it is individuals like that faggot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, people of caliber with no moral that are glorified and overshadow individuals that have moral principles and shine the light on that particular genre of being. So it becomes a majority rules thing. Right. And you become the only woke motherfucker that took the good pill and everybody else took the other pill and get <laughs> sleep. So you're the party pooper. But you know, when you when they when you're able to get, to get brought in as in money when people get with money could buy into the set See, the that's D when for bail like on mine you know what i'm saying dad homie's like on my side of town like with this like i like i don't want nobody thinking i'm out here chasing blue rags neither like right. that ain't my deal you know what i'm saying like i'm not with that i collect the vibes I, I i change lives i set a tone for my nation and my hood to be spoke about in the right manner right you know what I'm saying? When you talk about the Hercs, I want you to know that we out here feeding. We out here teaching and not misleading. You know what I mean? We're 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 building. We're 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 collectivizing. We taking care of the community. You see us on the gram, all of all of us are family orientated. We doing community work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, outside of self preservation. We do this we really do this for the community. When you say do community work, is that is that um what Shanduk is doing? Yeah, but are you part of that? Uh, or that's is no, a different I'm type. I'm not specifically a part of it. No, I'm not. But I support the brother from day one of what he had going on since the office was on King's Highway in church. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like, why not? Okay, now where was you born? You was you born in Bed Stuy? Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. Okay, so you from the Stuy. I was born in Brooklyn. I was born in Kings County Hospital. Okay. So when I got the the invite that that you wanted to come on a podcast, I was told that you was Buster Rhymes' brother. Mm-hmm. Are you his birth brother or are you his brother? As in, that's my man. I fuck no, with him bro. like that. That's my brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't come out the same womb. No. Okay, but you got a no, relationship with him. To say y'all got the same father, yeah. but not the same mother. Right. Okay. You're younger. Of course. Okay. What made you wanna 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 rap? Did he did he motivate you to wanna get into the this music? Or this is what you've been doing? I've been that's a bone that I had in my body, bro. hmm So you just you been rapping before him? No, hell no. He's older. Yeah, he old. I'm, I'm saying, but I'm saying you've been rapping for a long time. Yeah. So why are you not on that? I don't see you on no because features. I'm bu- no. I, well, all right. This is this the deal. Like, I was that wasn't my thing. I was whooping. Mm-hmm. So everybody that whooping means gang banging, banging blood. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a Damu. I represent the United Blood Nation on the East Coast. Uh, you know, banger family. You know what I mean? I'm outside. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, and on our side of town, what we do is we have a, 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 a lot of positive things going on. Like you know, we move our mobiles of gods and, and goddesses. Okay. You know, a lot of comet. You know what I mean? A lot of jewels, a lot of ice, a lot of things that's dropped within the community. You know what I'm saying? Like so, that's that's where the ice comes from to shine. So Indeed. bright, you know what I mean? The Sierra Leone blood diamonds, the mm-hmm. sacrifices that the black folks have made. Mm-hmm. That's what we identify with. We identify with our goddesses. That's why when you see us on the gram, it's 
gods and goddesses. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yo, hurt and hurt, hurt. You know what I'm saying? It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's that chain that's so solid that remains, that keeps the gang intact, whole voice. You right. know what I'm saying? So, you know, with the 30 years of busting his ass, pause for this shit, you would take to it like a duck take the water and it would turn you on enough to know that that's what you want to do. Right. When you get the chance to do it. Of course, hip hop itself, like I was influenced by people like Daddy Kane, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Ra. EPMD. Uh, yes. All right. Let me, can I, can I, can, 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 can I really get into it? Let's like, go. I was influenced by the main source, dig it in the crates. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was really. I was I was the kid playing that's my car off the curb. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was I was the hot peas and butter kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I was the kid that was at the lunch table beatboxing and shit. Banging on the table. And my homegirl doing the beat and I'm going off. Okay. You know what I mean? Like as a kid, like it was cool. You know what I mean? Shorty got the lollipops and up on But this ain't have nothing to do that while you was in high school, your your brother yeah, was on TV. Yeah, but of course that was the fluid. But hey, it started from just hip hop. Mm-hmm. Just the radio. Like I'm black. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you gonna come up with an upbringing of culture music in any household in Brooklyn. Okay. Whether it's re- especially reggae. Especially reggae, especially and, and especially, and especially in that time. in the '90s, in that time, Brooklyn was known for reggae, gunplay, smoke, and hardcore rap. Mm-hmm. The best shit coming out of the game: Big, right. Junior Mafia, right. Hove, Fox. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot going on. You know what I mean? Master Ace, mm-hmm. uh, uh, OGC. You know Coco Bees. You know what I mean? Like for real. Like OGC. the whole duck town. The yeah. whole duck down. Yeah, the whole the whole buck town duck down. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Evil yeah. B. Shout out you, to them. You know what I'm Shout saying? Buckshot. Buckshot. You know what I'm saying? Tech Smoke. You know what I'm saying? Uh 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 you know, Rockness. You know what I mean? You know, Rest Helter, Sean Helter. Price. Yeah, R.I.P. Sean Price, Bernice what's up. You know what I'm saying? Big facts. You know what I mean? This, this is come on. This is this is this is come on. It's Brooklyn. It's Brooklyn. It's hip hop. You I'm know what it is? I'm talking Frank Pause. I'm talking Caesar Leo. I'm talking Naquan. I'm talking C Gutter. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking Chico. I'm talking, you know what I mean? A uh, uh, fucking clap. Junior Mafia, Lil Kim. You know what I'm saying? For real, like the the real like Big Mama's Queen. Shout out to Big Mama Queen B. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Big Mama. Hold up, wait. Talk about it. Shout out to Big Mama, man. <laughs> yeah, man. We in that camera Mama, right there. Know? Where we at, man? Right, right there. Here, we, we in that right camera. Here. Shout out to Big Mama Queen B, man. Since you know what the fuck we doing when we doing it. Shout out to Papers. You know what I'm saying? Royal, what's up? Keep being a beautiful young lady. I see you growing. You shit me. And this is just what we doing, man. Mm-hmm. I'm back to the whooping. You know what I'm saying? We put these things back on because y'all, y'all, you know, we was in the we was in the zone. State. Let's yeah. go, let's go. You kind of big mama, you gotta tilt your hat to the queen, especially when you in NY. That's the only mm-hmm. queen that I that I that rest I'm in peace, Bristow too. Since we yeah. on Junior Mafia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest, rest in peace, peace Bristow. Respectfully, respectfully, rest in peace, Briss. Rest in peace, Briss. Rest in peace, Briss. All right, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully, and um. And, and, you know, just seeing shit like being 17 and watching B.I. Body ride through Brooklyn with wow. my man Kareem Battle holding me from Washington and Fulton. Shout out to my nigga. Did you actually know Big? Did you Everybody have a relationship with them? Like, you know, like fucking with C's and like just seeing them niggas as kids. Walking up that avenue, like I ain't really, I was too young to have a relationship with Big. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I used to see B.I. all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, you could see him on Bedford and Quincy, Franklin Ave, shooting dice on, on, on blocks and shit, by the liquor store St. James and shit. That, that, mm-hmm. was, that was regular for B.I. Mm-hmm. That wasn't no lie. That wasn't no fabricated shit in the movie. Like, this, I got goosebumps. Like, right. my hair standing up right now. Duke, like, for real. Like, being a Brooklyn nigga, like, I'm 43 years old. I come from that cloth. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I mean, from that era, yeah, half a male and all yeah, that. Hell yeah, heavy on the heavy on the half. Oh man, rest in peace, half a male. You already know what time it is. <laughs> you know what it is, man. Drinking we gonna the go there. Smooth the hustler. We gonna go there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? When when I was getting like I'm talking nine four era when I was fourteen, and niggas was rocking the 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 Air Max. Barkley joints and the Adidas with the sock, the John Starks joints. Adidas equipment. Right, uh, uh, fucking the Adidas with the rollerblade sock, John in them and all that. Taking the whole roller- switching the yeah, socks, yeah, and yeah, and all that. Same snicker that's switching you know the color really sock. Really fresh, you know what I'm saying? Like Columbia jackets was in full effect, like with Naughty the jackets, Naughty's and, and all Naughty's that. Naughty's was, was the shit. Kalkanah was stupid. Mm-hmm. With the boots, with the buckle. The vest with the buckle, the jeans with the buckle in the back piece. Like Ooh. nigga had the 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 the, the hat with the, the skelly dream with the big metal piece on the shit front end. That's that or Tupac shit. On. I see Tupac. Yeah, when you say that. Bad. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. that era though. Mm-hmm. You had to be outside mm-hmm. for it. Like you couldn't just call it. With then it was cross colors, lime green jeans and all that. Like like niggas was really outside getting fly, and that's what intrigues you to want to rap because you see this this lifestyle this culture this way of living everybody doing this shit wu-tang doing this everybody doing their thing why wouldn't you do it then it birthed you why it's gonna birth me it birthed you indeed it birthed every black person in this world to beat their head when they hear the bop all right why because it's cultural to move to the beat of the drum as a black person it's in your veins. It's for our ancestry come from the beat of the drum. That's so when fact. you hear the beat of the drum, you gonna move. You can't help but to move. It moves your body. It's in your blood. That's a fact. It's in your DNA. Yeah, it's definitely in your DNA. So when I search when I search your name, I go to YouTube. Mm-hmm. You got music on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And then it's a big gap. Right. Between the music you put on YouTube to now. Within that within that gap. I took a I hate this, man. I was arrested. What and was you arrested for? I was arrested for getting some paper with my little brother. God bless his soul. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, we took some money from them pharmacies, we wowed out, we took over past 100 bands is a, a, a paper, if you know what I mean, and they wasn't having it. How much time they gave you? Ah, slap on the wrist. I did a one and a half to three. Okay. And still came home victorious. Shout out to my lawyer, Mark Smart. He's the greatest. Um, What I do with it again? Hell fucking no. Why did I do uh, People, and a lot of people ask, yo, with your circumstances, why would you even... Put yourself in a situation to be arrested for your you know, crime. And f- you know, again, every like people have to understand. I'm Fonzarelli. I'm not nobody else. But Buster, your brother, Fon. So what? That that means. Not, and I wasn't thinking like that. I was gang banging. I'm heavy deep. I'm smoking. I'm drinking. I'm popping pills. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm under the influence. I'm whooping. I got a name before this rap shit in the streets with gang banging. I've been somebody before all this rap shit and all this shit. I've been that nigga in these streets. I've been the mayor of my bitty forever. You know what I'm saying? Like respectfully, you know what I mean? Like I've just I'm just been one of them niggas that you can bound on that's gonna be there. Okay. You know what I mean? Respectfully. And it 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 it, it came to the point where it was like Record some of this shit too, bro. It came to the point where it was almost like it was overwhelming for me to have to be the Fawns guy. I'm him because I don't want to. When you get that name, the Fawns, like the Fawns from Happy Days? Yeah. My sister. uh, (laughs) Shout out to Keisha. You're a fool. She gave because. You used to rock your collar up on your jack, on your levis? And and there was the ambiance of women. Okay. That would just take to me like a duck take the walk. You know what I'm saying? Um, it w- it, I was living a real wild lifestyle. And it was almost like 
I don't even want to even get too deep in detail of it, but it was just, it was, it was almost those who know, you know, when that time come for testimonies, and I'm gonna say this on now, so it's documented. You can say what you want to say, you can tell the stories. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm past that, but you know what I mean. I'm just. So you were doing some fucked up shit to people. No, I wasn't. I was. The, I was the man. It was just a little bit. The he said, I can tell your testimony. <laughs> Who's going to tell a testimony? Whatever. You? Whoever, you know, my peoples. You know, that that's... They, I believe you can't tell certain stories because... You can't takes, tell it. Everybody, somebody else got to right, tell it. Right, they got to tell it. Right. Certain shit. You can tell your story, but certain things is cliche for a dude to say. Right. You right. understand? If right. a nigga say, nigga, I was the man with these honeys out here, your mama probably did me, nigga. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, it's fucked up, but I probably had your moms in the best positions in America. <laughs> Though you don't want to yeah. hear that. Right, right. So you know right. what I'm saying? I'm a, the people going to have to tell you that. I probably had your favorite actresses and, and, and R&B artists wild up and lost relationships behind shit. You know what I'm saying? Viral flicks, things of that nature that was quote-unquote inappropriate from how they were taken. I get it. So being that buster with your brother, he never like try to put his arm around you like yo. Yeah, he your always thought, yo, my you back bugging, about like, yo. some shit to the point where he wasn't fucking with me. Cause you was you was rebelling. Yup. He's a different type. You not getting nothing for free. He worked thirty years of this shit, jumping around the stage before at the world. What make you think you're just gonna come out of nowhere and not work and just get it for free? A lot of people take that as in you not helping me. Nah, you can't say that. When I'm not rich, you rich. Like, you, like, you're not. A lot of people will be like, yo, I fuck with Buster, but your Buster ain't put me, he not putting me in the right position to get on. As long as he's supporting the movement and he funding conglomerate and that's his label and I am a member of that entity, he's doing just enough. You got to work around the boss. You cannot wait for a nigga his caliber of man See, most of these niggas that be talking that shit got these niggas with labels that they motherfucking, the boss ain't the artist. So they have time to be dealing with these niggas. So if they ain't doing certain shit, they look crazy anyway because you ain't got nothing but time on your hands. Every bird man can't rap. Right. He gets these niggas ghost right He boy. know that. But he's a boss. He do it for the chat. Certain shit he say is slick to me. That's the homie, though. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, I'm going to support it. Right. He's not lyrical. He's not. A, that's not his job to be. He's mm -hmm. a boss. He's, his job is to make artists. If he decides to rap, he's doing it for the love of it. Who to my Birdman? Yeah. Okay. You, you got a relationship with Birdman? No. All right. So I'm just saying, like, let's say... Listen, um, I'm going to say what I want to say, though. Mm -hmm. I don't need no relationships with no niggas and none of that shit. I'm not being wild on Duke. I'm telling my opinion. I ain't right. nigga, you know, like... The, the rap shit ain't what he do. Right. He don't do that. That's not, he's not that's, outside trying to push rap music that's to fact. be the best rapper and telling niggas nah, he's better than you. Nah, better than he, you. he just Birdman come yeah. and talk his rich nigga shit. And that's it. Talk reality rap mm -hmm. with how much money he got, the shit he doing, how much of a boss he is. You play with on him with, with boss time, he coming to see you. That's that. <laughs> that's that. And I respect it. Fuck it. That's what you do. You're the yeah. best you you could be. Mm-hmm. But you're not trying to be no rapper. No He's doubt. a rapper with a label. Mm -hmm. That's that's one that's the most important artist in today's culture. From that era, he came from till now. Till now, he's still lit, right? Right. He just signed the shit for Fifty with and, and Jeremiah with right. the tour, right? So you know what I'm saying? Like, give me a break. Like they, they won't. And he just got off the shit with j fresh off. Oh, no, of the Rick Ross, yeah, the and, 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 and the, yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, then he, he left that. He when he left the Rick Ross, mm -hmm. uh, uh, French, and, mm -hmm. and, and 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 um, Fat Joe right. shit, right? And did that shit. Then he right. ran into Briss. And the, shout out to Breezy. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my blood. Yeah, I have fool. I'll see be you. See Breezy, right? Yeah, that's a fact. Right. See Breezy. That's a fact. OHB. I mm -hmm. see you bracking out here like you post to, nigga, like mm -hmm. pistachios on these nasty hoes. <laughs> but yeah, on the side. <laughs> and I'm dead on ass. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Stop playing. Mm -hmm. Look, you play a lot. You play a lot. You <laughs> yeah. play a lot. Let's talk. Let Let's talk. Let's talk. Yo, listen. Because 
let's get back to what we was talking about before. Because, I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to. All right, go ahead. So that was where where my circumstances lie. That like I'm not. I was so caught up. Like when you fresh out the can, bro, and you like you leave the streets and you know you know jail very well and you're banging, mm -hmm. like and you don't leave that much time, you go from 02 to 010, come home, spend two years in the street, make the news for the bread on some other shit, mm -hmm. and, 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 and go right back in. Like, you're so prone to the system that it's not hard to snap right back in the go mode, then with having a name, then the hood you banging, then gang banging, then, you know, being an elder, then somebody with leadership. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it becomes a, a bigger job. You got to shut the streets off because now you, you in jail. That shit don't matter. It don't matter. Right. It don't matter. So now, you know, not saying you can't transition, though it's not a fake thing. If you a phony nigga, you could turn it on and off and get around anything and act like it never happened. Mm -hmm. But when you take an oath to something and you love it so much daily and you really lose shit like your organs, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You lose your organs from what? From getting from injured? From banging. From getting shot and getting yeah. stabbed and yeah, stuff like shot. that? Is that something that happened to you? Hell yeah. I got one. I got my left Attested? lung took in. Oh, your left? Okay. My left lung is gone. My spleen is removed. I got a shell fragment still in my face. Five wounds down my leg. You all from gang banging? All for banging. And that's why I be asking niggas, is this really what you want? And that was the beginning stages when you really had to be the nigga you said you mm -hmm. was. And the, because you couldn't hide it, You mm -hmm. there was no running around talking about I'm not this around niggas when you were scared and then when you're around the homies you can get around that. Now, what is, that. is that, do that play a part of um, this industry not really dealing with you because they kind of scared of that? Yeah, that's that's why I had to switch up the tempo. Like from my previous pages, you see a bunch of whooping. Mm -hmm. Like a whole bunch of it. From, from Bali to New York. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, Blim 400. Shout out to YG. You know what I mean? Um, Bally mean BK. Cali to, for the people that's under a rock. Yeah, California. And, uh, damn, that that one hit home. You know what I mean? And, uh, I had to, like, if I'm going to get the money, I can't scare the money. That's a fact. Because and then I didn't want to be responsible for 100 dead babies. You gotta, that was my biggest thing. You got to understand that. This music is an industry, it's a business. The streets and and business, it don't, it's not hand in hand, Franz. That's not. So if you if you're gonna cross over and get into this game, it's gonna be certain things that you can't do no more. And that's where I was caught up in in the beginning of it. Like I would answer calls that I I wasn't like and in the midst of me coming home from prison, I, I lost my big homie, Robo Just. You know what I'm saying? Like, I lost a lot of homies. Like, a lot of dear homies. Mm -hmm. That was real life B Dogs to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. real for gang banging. You know what I mean? That taught me everything. Like, Robo lost his life with a heart attack, it wasn't in war. So that was the upside of it. Right. But it still was a loss was because he's loss. gone. Absolutely. I'd rather him here than there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We just lost Bezo. We lost Bags. We lost a lot of brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? A lot of homies. Boo. We lost a lot of brothers. B S I Epo. You know what I mean? Fizzy. Mm -hmm. Pretty. It's a lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot of individuals. You know what I mean? That, um. Uh, that uh, that meant something. That that and and that and it happened so quick. Mm -hmm. Like I like I'm always dealing with some deaf shit. Like, right. Uh, you know what I mean? Always. I man. think that's a lot of that's a lot of us black men. Yeah. And the, I'm I'm just gonna say black men yeah. and black women. Yeah. That's yeah. out here. Especially if they sharing moments with you, yeah. they gotta share it too. Yeah. So, so just like you deal with it, they deal. They deal with, with it with too, you. right? So you know what I mean? They ain't missing out. Right. You know so what that's I mean? why that's why I bring them into this too, cause they they losing us too. You mm -hmm. Feel me? Mm -hmm. so, so that took a toll on me. 
and threw me off. But in between that, I was still doing things with the music, if that made sense. Like, yeah. I was still making your little connections. Hell yeah. So, and then, you know, now I'm on parole coming home. So now, you know, the violations here, violations there. You know what I mean? Until I max out type shit. You on, you on probation right now? No, hell no. You, you free, you scot free. Been, that should been over. I've All been right. So paper. you moving, you moving I've and grooving. Been. All right. You moving and grooving. Been off paper since 2015. Never so I see, when I go to your page, I see that you know a lot of stars. Right. With these stars, I know certain favors was asked. I know certain certain stars said they was going to do some things for you, and it never happened. The phone the phone rung, and it was never picked up. Right. You want to elaborate on that a little bit, man? I say like this. I can tell you, like, as far as it comes, it's a lot of individuals, right, that I know personally that would not be okay today in New York City if it wasn't for me. Them, I mean, I mean, niggas done got robbed. I mean, and called my phone, like, while I'm in the bed with my kids to try to get their chain back. I mean, niggas done. Industry niggas, yes, rappers. Nigga, yes, rappers, R&B artists, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. Uh, niggas done got back down, like, you know, scared to do this and do that. It's on. They done talk this shit on record so much that now they got to be in the bitty and they know I know a few niggas and now niggas is, you know, mm -hmm. off of beef. Niggas done bang my line. And then you got real niggas that hit my line too. That right. ain't had to never have, like... That if they see me with these individuals, everybody that I did know, everybody don't, like, I ain't never asked for no ill favors. But when niggas is doing the most on safety issues, of course, when I hit you, I better it better be reciprocated, nigga, because right. I ain't out here bullshitting with it. So what happens when they don't, when they don't respond to the phone call? That I move on and win and make you have to deal with it. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna go violent because you we still shit. Most of the people that I do know, I got personal relationships. It's not business. Like, mo that's the other shit where niggas, but where I win a lot over other niggas. Like, niggas got relationships with a lot of dudes from breaking bread with them in this business for so long that mm -hmm. they fed their each other's children right. through through revenue and doing good business. That you might as well be each other's friend. It's a reason to be your friend. Like, then you learn a nigga, then it's brotherhood, then it's love, then your kids know each other. You know too much. Y'all too close to, to turn back. You Your kids done know, been to dinner with this nigga kids. They know each other. They talk to each other every day. They probably go out on their own time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're too close to turn back now, so you keep it cordial as long as they keep it cordial. You know what I mean? And once you reach a certain status quo where it don't make no sense to beef, it's no beef. So let's move right along. Now you got this song called Smoke. Right. Who's My that? boy Johnny, famed the movie. Okay, now, is this, when I go to your page, You're I right. just see you moving around doing this one song. It, what, what, is, what is your stamp right now in the music? Or you want to be security? You want to, what, you, what I don't do you do really no want to do? I don't. I'm, I don't know which. Why would you? I've never been a security. Not guy. security, not security. I mean, like holding other rappers down when they come I to don't, the city. I don't do. I don't like. No, I don't do. I don't do the security thing. I'm just a good nigga. Like if you like this shit, come with just like how niggas tap in and check in in other right. cities. Niggas do the same over here too. Everybody just assume that New York got soft since Snoop crushed the buildings, and that ain't it. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? You got real niggas that love their city. My mama died here. No doubt. You know what I mean? My daddy died here. My homies died here. My brother died here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my niggas died here. I got hit here. You know what I mean? Like, I lost organs here. I did time here. Like, I became Damu here. I learned everything here. Well, everything I know, tie a shoot you, gum, a Mac abroad. Like, you know what I mean? Drive a car, everything, anything. Ride a bike. I don't, everything I've learned, I learned here. So it's, 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 come on, babe, bro. All right. The music. What are you going to do with the music? Everything. You, I got to do, like, push. What would be your stamp on the music? Is, as is, far as what you mean by that? Your stamp, as in where you want to go with it? I'm going to the top or broke. You a solo artist? Or is um 
What you mean? Am I? Am uh, I? You by yourself? You solo? Group? Or do you have a group? Yeah. Nah, I am. I have. I'm pushing my label, Shine Hard Music Group. I'm. Yeah, I'm a. I'm a solo artist as far as now, but I'm scouting. You know what I mean? I got uh my 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 vice president, my nigga Ra. You know what I'm saying? And then my daughter, she's the CEO of my shit. Okay. Vice CEO, next CEO of my shit under me. You know okay. what I mean? He, she, so. You know, other than that, it's just us three. She don't really know too much about the music, but I just not yet. so she can cut the check. Okay. You know I mean, I have something when she go and all that. But as for now, it's 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 just it's just me. I just wanted to have something outside of conglomerate because I've made my way around, bro, so hard. Like I like that was my thing. I've watched men violate. That's what I was going about to get into with him. With like conglomerate was a strong team, son. And it still is, cause it's who bigger. was who was who was conglomerate right now. Who who was a conglomerate then? All right, you had OT Genesis, right? Aaron Cooks, which is Stove God Cooks, Prayer. He's still conglomerate. Murder Mook. <laughs> he not conglomerate oh, no more. Huh? Prayer. I don't talk about business. I don't know. I believe so. As you got to hit bust. Yo, yo. Yo, you really going to do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, That's not my place to speak. All right. That's not my place All right. to speak. Say I no more. Shout out to prayer and everything he got going on. I haven't seen him in a minute, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they do as far as business is concerned. You know what I mean? I just play my position and do what I got to do. Okay, keep, keep, keep going. You know what I mean? OT I, Genesis was dope. Yeah, OT. Uh, You know... Stove God, Murder Mook, mm -hmm. um, Jado, uh, Vibes Cartel. Uh, I forgot he had Vibes. Never forget he has Vibes. Free to Gaza. Free to Gaza. Word. Word. Free to Gaza. Free to Gaza. Vibes Cartel. All right? Spice, what's up? Um... <laughs> yeah, that's a big city. Let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah, don't fuck around. Let's man. go. Uh, Spliff, what's up? Kev Webb, what's up? Half, what's up? Yeah. Troy Ave, what's up? Scratch it tour, what's up? Shahi Reed, the whole fucking conglomerate. Biscuit, you know, yeah, I know how the thing's up. <laughs> um, uh, you know, you looking at, uh, oh, Trillion. Mm -hmm. Trillion is also conglomerate. Um, I mean, you know. All right, now you the list goes on, right? I now Spliff star, of course. But Spliff has you, Paper Rock also. That's his. That's his like his yeah, branch off. Yeah, but it's still flip mode conglomerate. Conglomerate is just the conglomerate. everybody together. You know what I mean? Though it's bus label, but Spliff is the street colonel. He either goes nowhere. Like that's the second in command. You know what I mean? If something was to happen to him. You know what I mean? Outside the children, and fam, and 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 family, flesh and blood. Spliff is the first motherfucker that everybody gonna go to because he has his that that's it's it's only right. What happened to Flip Mode Squad? Nothing happened to Flip Mode Squad. They said they was coming out with an album. They are coming out with an album, I believe. I heard that too. I don't know if you don't be asking them. I mean, I don't know. You gotta ask Bus, but what I do Just tell Bus to come on the show. I, look, what I'm gonna tell you is this, right? <laughs> nobody wanted with Rod Digger. Nah, I haven't know heard that. nobody. Rod I'm not the, finished what? talking. Rod Digger? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you, <laughs> not Dirty Harriet. That's the first lady. <laughs> nobody wanted with Baby Sham. You can forget about it. Lord have mercy. Nobody wanted with him. Rampage. You can forget about it. Nobody wanted with him. Shout out to Rampage. Shout out to Reek the villain. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, you, nobody really wanted with, 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 with. Shout with, out to Ree. You, nobody I really Ree. want. That's my, that's my boy. Mm -hmm. Nobody really wanted. I. Right? Nobody wanted with these individuals, and it ain't because of a high haters. It's because if it was wanted, these niggas would have been played with a long fucking time ago. Mm -hmm. You understand? And um, rumor has it that they coming out with an album. Right. I'm waiting for it. Rumor has it. Because I don't know Rod if it's Digger? Look, look, rumor has it that it's finished. I don't know yet though. 
Like I haven't heard nothing like the stamp it yet. Don't get me, you know, you yeah, know, you yeah. heard. I see the blogs and I see the little comments you see. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like, you know, it stirs the pot. But when I hear something, this nigga say, you know, the blogs. You in the inside and you talk about blogs, farms. I'm just saying that, <laughs> but because I play mine, like I be so focused on farms already because he's already him. Mm-hmm. It's like how much work he he does more work because he love it. All right, now with with that all star names that you just that you just spoke about, where do you find yourself fitting in in the conglomerate conglomerate crew? Bro, I'm the poster child for the for the generation of conglomerate after his chapter of conglomerate. All right, it's the top three shotters. The top five shots is on conglomerate before I got everybody before I got there. I respect they pen and I respect they mic pause. Because they wouldn't be there around him if they wasn't like, come on, you mm-hmm. got Jado, forget about it. That nigga's like an alien, bro. Everybody was is aliens that he picked. Now, how good they do with the crew, that's on them. Or uh, is it the same love? You forgot Papoose too. Papoose was a conglomerate at one time. What made you say that? Papoose was a conglomerate. I don't know if he still is. Papoose? Papoose was a conglomerate at one time, right? When we were when we screaming, I missed the 1. 1.5. That was the job deal. Yeah, but wasn't he a conglomerate? He was with the crew, but he wasn't. He might have not signed. All right. See, Boss gave him that big platform with Touch It. Yeah. But he, Pap is a goat. Yeah, he yeah. had a platform. Rest in peace to Slay. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one dude that made me write every day when I was writing. Who, Slay? No. Oh, Pap. Pap, yeah. Law Library 1, 2, Menace to Society, Boys in the Hood. This is 05, 06. Yeah, the mixtape Pap. And the box coming down from Southport with Father Devon. You know what I mean? Going to OBCC, getting pulled for paternity just to get the bag mm-hmm. in the box. Like, shout out to the officers that did the right thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the CO chicks that did the right thing. You know what I mean? Respectfully, we ain't mm-hmm. gonna say names. No I doubt. just gotta always recognize them. They know what's going on. Like they they made my bid smoother. Right. You know what I mean? So uh, it's it it, it 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 come with the territory of shit to acknowledge the forefathers before us that do it. But as far as I'm concerned, when when Mook decides to chill and put his feet up. I'm going to give niggas a reason to chill out because, you know, everybody's a goat on our crew. Everybody's, like, top-notch goats in their own realm. That's is, Mo- why is, is Murder Mook still conglomerate? Yes, he is. Where his music? Where you think it's at? I don't know. You got to get on the platform and go get it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got to keep up. Where his music, the boys are battle rap guard. No, we know that. make music all the time when the niggas keep getting pulled over here for a battle, pulled over there for a battle. Yeah, he gonna make the music. Man, Moo can't come out with a battle in a minute. You bugging that His nigga. last battle was with... Geechee? This, was Geechee God. He killed Geechee. He, he, he got the battle in, in Atlanta. You forget? With who? I forget Duke name. What, a, 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 a yeah. new one right now? Yes, yes, brother. So, so you trying to say he can't focus on the album, not a single, not No, a, his album is is... Is is getting like all the way pushed, like that's what we doing. Like that's I'm anything he push, I'm pushing. Mm-hmm. Like that's just the team effort of what we got going on. Like when you dealing with Mook, bro, you gotta understand. Like Mook is a uh, a uh, pause anally dude about his music. Like he's not just putting shit out like because he it, it gotta be like super perfect with this kid. Like like I don't know what it is about him, but he's not from this planet when it come to bars. And when his shit is so stamped to be like bar guard, like bar guard with it, that he won't allow himself to set a standard where he's just giving anybody anything just because they want to hear him. Because his name is on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like type shit. Like, you know, you got good work. You not just, it's a drought. You holding that drought right. down till your connect get the shits. Right. Because you know them niggas got work over there, but it's gonna fuck your clientele up. They definitely not fucking with you. And whoever got the best work better than what they just taste, they going after, and that's what they gonna fuck with, cause you iffy. 
So you trying to say Conglomerate is the best label to sign to right now? Conglomerate is the only movement moving. Why wouldn't you do anything else? First of all, this is where the Deep Sea Scrolls is at. You still going to have to come here. Everybody give the flowers to Big Bro. Nah, Buster, Buster's you a legend. Buster's right, going to so, get his flowers. So if he has his hands on you, what you think you going to happen to you? Every nigga that then he put hands on then got the exposure they were supposed to have. Now, if they didn't work hard enough to get what the fuck they supposed to go, that's on you. So, see, you just answered my question. So you trying to say everybody that signed to a conglomerate that didn't really go far didn't work hard? First of all, anybody that went on conglomerate went far. OT, Moot. Aaron Stove God Cooks. Mook already had a bur uh Mook already all right, was burnt all right, with sizzling all right, when he came. All right, all right, all right. Look, you're right. Let's take Mook out the way. Yeah, because he's been a made man since, since since forever. All right. OT. Millions out the door. All Push right. it was crazy. Coco. You can yeah, go on Coco, forever. Yeah, yeah, we can go on forever. Yeah, yeah. We can go on forever. Coco and Push it was retarded. We can go on forever. We can go on forever. All right, let's leave OT out of it. All right. OT was crazy. Stove God. And niggas running around with fucking Griselda crazy, all stupid. Niggas up. Because the platform. All right? Everything that nigga touched went all the way up. Niggas get, get rich, get fat, get millionaires out, and start they get lazy. And I won't say they're getting lazy. They Whatever their mission is. They probably felt like they accomplished it and they got jaded fast enough. Everybody's not in this for the love of hip hop like him. You can't expect everybody to be him because they on the label with him. That's when niggas got to get that shit out their brain. Like a lot of people get these like, I'm signing Jay-Z. Why? The, no, I'm not Hove. You can't look at Hove and look at me. You can't like, it's not going to work. You can look at the people around him. Yeah. And see what kind of music we putting out. But just because I don't sound like Jay specifically, that means I'm not a good artist. Like, Rihanna sings. She doesn't rap. You don't think Prayer was a good look for Conglomerate? Prayer was a great look for Conglomerate. I'm still waiting for him. I mean, ask Prayer what he want to do. You think, it's, you think it's Prayer? You think it's Prayer? Prayer do can't I just, think it's yeah. Prayer? Do you think it's Prayer? Is Prayer lazy or something? He ain't coming out with music? Prayer, I've, I've seen Prayer work. so I haven't spoke to Prayer, so I don't know if it's a family issue or what's going on. Or oh, shout out to Prayer. Because I want to know how that go. Is it? Is it do you do 30 songs and like, you're not releasing an album? You're saying, wait, you put you prayer, it on the shelf? Like, how that shit is a, going? In a space wherever he's at. I don't. I really don't know where Bell at, Belly at. I haven't spoke to Belly. I used to talk to Belly all the time. Every day, yo, Fonz, what's, yo, what's, what's the deal, Fonz? Yo, what's up? The sound just like, <laughs> yo, what's up, baby? What's up? What you doing? Like, yo, bro, I'm over here. He coming to the projects, come pick a nigga up in his, in his Lex. Then he had the white bands. He was coming to Moss. He coming to get a nigga. All kind of shit. Because, you know, from the outside looking in, it's like, damn, bunch see, shelfing niggas. Nah. You can't say niggas is getting shelved if. If you seeing a nigga being great, you on BET and everything, and you go from that to you asking me what's going on with that man. But what it did, he signed. Yeah, so he signed. when you sign, you gotta move accordingly. You yeah, can't but just that do don't what have, you want to do. That's I don't know about the business factors of what's going on. You don't know what kind well, of deal he signed. I don't know. I don't care. Right. I stay out yeah, of the Yeah, right. It's not your business. That's right. never it's not my your business. business. No All doubt. I can say is if you're going to ask me something, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. When it come to prayer, that's my bro. I hope he's all right. All praise due to Allah that he's breathing. He's well. His mind is right. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know the specifics of his high haters. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't want to <clears throat> create no narrative or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, when niggas ask me, everybody asks me about prayer because they used to see us all together all the time, especially in the Zaw video. All that they 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 seen the lineup of how it was about to go. It, it wasn't that you know what I'm saying like niggas seen what was going on, mm -hmm. and so they like all right, what happened with prayer? It's like nigga, Google them. Like I I, I don't know. Like you know <laughs> niggas got lives, bro. Like outside of this shit, I love my niggas. Like it came to a point where we all used to check for each other outside of the studio shit. I call OT. Call AD, it, you know, call, it's, it's still people I still hit to this day. 
But once I see that you're distant, I can't get with you because I don't have an excuse of why. And at the end of the day, my loyalty lies with Trevor Smith Jr. You be ghostwriting songs, bro? Of course I do. Who you ghostwrite for? I'm not going into all of that. Do you like you format the song or you I just did a lot? I'm not I did a lot. You get the money right there or they give you a check? Nah, I get a I get a wire. I what, get a wire. Would it be what I it, haven't ghostwritten in a minute. But what, I haven't ghostwritten in a minute. It was a complication and I think I was shifed with a with with a, with somebody hmm. that that threw my monkey threw a monkey rich in the game because I'm a nigga that be in every session. Right. Like once niggas did their homework, like, yo, son, niggas love that nigga. He's in everybody's session. You know, I critique a lot of records for niggas. Right. You know, I help niggas put certain things together where you hear it and it sound good like that. Not everyone. I just, some niggas just want me to hear the shit and right. give me their ear because they know I got to air to the streets too. Though I've, I've ghostwrited for a lot of people. Oh, okay. What, you got a gag order not to say the name? No. Yeah, you could. No, I gag order myself. Because that's not b good business? Absolutely not. And it's not real. It's not embarrassing, shit. though. No, it's not. But what I, I don't want to do is the once once the money was made, it, now if I was shifed with What's no the most gag, money you got for ghostwriting a song? I, I, I got five bands for a ghostwriter. For the whole song or no, just a verse? Just a verse. Okay. What's the. What, what's the whole song, I've. I've, I've Never gotten no more than like ten for like a whole song, respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, and you know that's just because I'm the guy in the background. I just got the recipe for the moment, and it's cool because I do this like just for bread. Me if I don't when I don't eat, it built my shit is networking is your net worth. Okay. So you know what I mean? As long as my network is sharp, I don't give a fuck. You can have five million dollars in your pocket right now. And you still gotta live and have bills and all that. That five million gonna turn to four thousand, four million and so and so thousand. And, and it's gonna that. keep it's going lower and lower, lower. right? But my contacts in his phone is like five billion, and I exercise them. So who's winning? Relationships is more than money. Who's winning? You want another drink? Yeah, I, I was look. I want the. I want to tell him to bring it over here. It's all right. Yeah, lovely. Please. You want, you want to bring the? Yeah, you bring the chases and all stuff. On. Thank you, Tuts. No, that's you're not in front of that camera. The camera with the red on. Yeah. I see you reaching. Yeah, you know what I was doing. Yeah. You can bring it. You can bring it. Yeah. Pardon, pardon me, fellas. Yeah. It's all right. She's so scared to get in front of the Sharita camera. Lives and all that. <laughs> it's all good. You get you a book of Asian like mine, you'll win too. <laughs> Around. Nah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Man. We'll do that off the camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, toast to greatness. Thanks for uh moving forward. Moving Having forward me. all day, man. You know all day, all day. So, what you doing with your music, bro? How we going? How we going to go about you? You going on conglomerate? You going on tour with Bus? What's going on? How that's going? Oh well, you know. One and thing and why sure, wouldn't you? For sure. Why certain. wouldn't you? Anything he's doing, I'm doing. Matter of fact, that's fit. That's fifties tour, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm not definitely doing no tour with Bus. I'm not. Not. I'm not on that tour. No, right. I'm not. Um, but I'm supporting it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything he doing, I'm supporting it. I'm like a hundred and gazillion billion. Do Spliff want to rap? Do Spliff want to rap? Yeah, he want. You know what the fuck going on? Now, street, live life why he out never right now. Out live life. He's putting together an album right now as we speak. It's no. almost finished. Right now, so this you see, live life out right, right now. now. You see, twenty twenty three. Yes, he will, finally wanted to come out with an album. No, what it was was, what it was was, first of all, God is great. Alhamdulillah, that brother was battling cancer. Okay, I did hear about that, and he beat it. Then he had open heart surgery, where the doctor said he would never perform again. Hmm. There we go. And he had to take a fall back. And yeah, that cloud nine off of Allah giving him the strength to get back on his feet and feed his family again with them stages. He just been so tuned in with that and taking advantage and being grateful yo, that he's just been enjoying it. I don't it, think yo. nobody could do it better than, better than Bus and I Split. There will never be another. You seen how he killed that shit with the Pharrell shit with the mouth? He was like, 
and got low in it. He turns and then bust he turns down. Into, not, and nobody turns bust did, up. Yo, bro. Like he's no way he do it looking ever. away. Like he no like he's no joke. With, no, no. Yo, they the best yeah, yeah. duo. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody could do it better than Buster Split. They make me cry every time of pride. Like, I tell I like, Sharita all the time. Nah. I tell, like, I, I talk the most. Like, I always critique myself with them, too, because they are the greatest. So if you're in playing a game of individuals that are the greatest, you need to know what you're dealing with and what you're up against. This is not just no regular shit. That's that why nobody don't with. fuck with Busting versus the MIC. Niggas don't want to fuck with Busting like, versus. you not just, this not the average crew. You want to come on yeah. after stage with with nah, the you foolish, can't, you can't, you can't. slow dance nonsense or the let's go, yo. You, what's you, got, you crazy gotta understand <laughs> that it's ultra violence every time the yeah. fools get on yeah. that stage. Yeah. They're stage yeah. breakers, bro. Yeah, and they influence the game. Everybody's there, they're they're cheering. Matter of fact, see, Fifth gonna have a hard time going after Bus. No, yo. he's not. Bust it's gonna open be. Let me tell fifth? you something. That's crazy. First of all, first of all, let me explain. That's something gonna to be you. hard, yo. They're gonna have fun. It's not gonna even be a competitive. No, thing. I know, but yo, it's not. I'm telling you, it's not. I, that's I, gonna be a two, treat. It's gonna be a treat. It's gonna be a treat to them the fans, two, bro. Uh, relationship is bigger than what people see because they don't see them two always together. Like Bust is caught talking to everybody else, like Cal mm -hmm. and everybody. Mm -hmm. That's they got a different like, type of relationship. My man. I seen that. Listen here. Him and Fifth? I Because you know I them see, two real G niggas. Yeah, yeah. I seen the So I you know what I'm saying? Like, where, outside of, like, the music shit, mm -hmm. you know, they real men men. Right. They, they come from that cloth of real New York nigga shit. Mm -hmm. And they never switch the... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like... They, they, it's, it's, it's real. It's real. It's real. I seen the, I seen the have, clip where somebody a, tried to throw a curveball at bus. And Fifth was right there, so he was like, wait, hold up. I'll never go at this brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my brother right here. Nah, that, and Fifth they, was looking like, what? yeah, he is. Them two? Are, yo, bro, they clown together. Him, Fifth, and Spliff? I don't think you want to be in the same room with them fools. Oh, after. You might be a good pair of jeans. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you, because Spliff is still a big kid. They still mm -hmm. big kids. But they not to be played with, if right. that makes sense. Right. Like they still, they show you how to exercise that bone in your body that was took. Like if you was a child, that felt like your childhood was robbed from you, and you trying to find a way to fill that happiness, that void, without having to just keep on pushing and not exercise that bone. They show you what it is to have fun at their age. Bus is fifty years old. Gee. Wow. He you usually have a twenty one more tw once you hit the fifty year mark, they say you have one twenty five year lifespan expectancy left. The average man, you know what I mean. The seventy five, everybody doesn't right. live to one hundred. Right. You know what I mean. The average human being right. man has one more twenty five year, year life yeah. expectancy run after hitting the milestone of fifty years old. Mm -hmm. I see that nigga having like five. It sounds cliche. I don't give a fuck. Shout out the boss. It's, 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 to he split. don't stop. The nigga's a machine. I don't know no nigga at his age with his energy that do what he do from that class and now these niggas is lazy. Why they bus pass out like that that time? Come on, man. He was too he was he was twisted. Nah. He shook his head too hard. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. And I ain't having that. What I'm saying Tell is me, this. man. I'ma tell you what happened. You see what he do on them stages everywhere? He was exhausted. Absolutely. Got you. How do you get rest when you him? Your body just shut down. That nigga live in the studio, 365. He's never leaving that shit. God forbid, his last date going to be on the MIC. God forbid. My phone word. God forbid. Why I say that? Because he worked so hard with the music, like, He'll overwork himself where he, uh, 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 yo, bro, hold on. Give me a second. Let me get a power nap in. Because he's not going nowhere. Well, we right there like, yo, what the fuck? How do you do this? And it's like, I'm saying that, but I do the same thing. And this is off of peppers. <laughs> he a vegan? 
No, I'm talking about the he restaurant. He's at Pepper's the restaurant. <laughs> you stupid, this, yo. Oh, he do this shit yo, over you Peppers. you stupid, yo. Because he don't smoke chronic like that. Because he's, he's on his food regimen. Mm -hmm. And he work out heavy. So he's on that regimen, that, that right, diet that, shit. Yeah, yeah. So you got it, you know, the chronic shit, he ain't really, if, like, he not the nigga he used to be mm -hmm. with the weed shit. He ain't drinking like that too much. If you see him take a he drink or two, he's just celebrating. Mm -hmm. Like, he's really... He focused, man. What? He focused in. What? He take all his vitamins. He's he put niggas on health and wealth regimens. You know him. Yo, respectfully, this is what we going to do, Lord. We going to move it, and we going to make sure that our bodies is right, our temples. He's on it. All right. So before we wrap this up, what can we get from Fonz, the Sean Guard? All right, check this out. Figures this is what before you gonna we wrap get. it up. Yo, listen. I got a project on the way right now that we putting together called The Load in NYC. The load is a double acronym for the life of a Damu living out a dream in New York City. All right? I got an EP called Sean God that I'm putting out, five-song EP, mm -hmm. that uh, me and Sharita Lives, we picking these records for right now. Mm -hmm. Me and Bus, we picking these records for right now. And we going to keep moving. Shout out to Mook, you know what I'm saying? Because he's definitely on my projects. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, this is what we doing, man. Like, I mean, conglomerate community, Shaha Music Group, moving forward. We outside, the fuck? Put prayer on your shit, too, man. I mean, if he's willing to get on, I am definitely want my nigga prayer on my shit. It's not, I don't want people to start acting like conglomerate don't love prayer. We Conglomerate love prayer. He's just going through whatever he's going through at the moment where he's, you not seeing no music from him. As far as I'm concerned, like, I believe he's all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't heard any bad news from him. Right. So whatever he's going through that got the world feeling like where he's at, is, is that's just what it is. I think everybody should tag him. Uh, you know, get on the gram, screenshot a picture, throw it on your gram story, share it, tag him, where's prayer, and have him to see if he's looking on the story. If you see he's looking, you know he's active. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, Yo. you know he has a daughter. Some people take a high haters to get back to their family when shit is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't know what actually is taking place with my brother. You know what I'm saying? I just know that he he should be okay with what he got going on, and I wish him the best. Shout but out to conglomerate. Prayer. I'm only worrying about who's around me and mine, and that's that. And everybody that gave us they as the kiss, they will, you know, reap the benefits of, the labor that they have to watch because every choice has an invoice and you have to pay. Let the people know where to find you at. The real sh under the underscore real Sean God figures, man. Uh, on the gram, Twitter, Herkin and Lurkin. That's H U R K N L U R K I N. All right, Herkin and Lurkin, Sean God shit. You know what I'm saying? Already heard him, man. All platforms, Fonz figures, F O N Z F I G G A Z. If you're looking for the music from YouTube to Apple Music. Okay? And you can find me on every street corner. You bend a nigga. If you outside like that, you can find me in every dance. You can find me on... <laughs> and you might find me in your mama house uh, cooking eggs butt naked. Actually, if you want Kool-Aid. You shit me? Yeah. Respectfully. And hey, we out of here moving forward. <laughs> Yo, you stupid.